Get ready for the Grammys. Think of all of the songs that you have ever heard. Few are ever nominated for a Grammy. With the awards this weekend right here on CBS, Brightside's Jenny Dean is introducing you to local artists connected to the Grammys. This morning, you'll meet Delion Sheffield. Her husband's a hometown hero. You probably recognize the name. Baseball great Gary Sheffield. And Delion is also a great, a one-time Grammy nominee who holds a big record. She is Delion Richard Sheffield, raised in church, surrounded by a family of ministers and pastors. It came easy for her to sing her praises to the Lord, and at just six years old, she made her mark on the musical scene. There was a big um, gospel fest getting ready to happen at the Chicago Stadium, and that was like 20,000 people there. They were doing, I mean, all the top gospel artists were on this program. Little Delion Richards, with her big voice, sang two songs that day. Making an impression on a top gospel recording label. And they said, we, we're interested, we like, we like what we saw. Can we sign your daughter to a major recording deal? That first album was how Delion earned her Grammy nomination for Best Female Gospel Soul Performance. She was nine years old becoming the youngest Grammy nominee ever. I knew it was a really big deal, and for me to be a part of that at that age, I definitely understood um, what that was. And so I appreciated it. I was just in the moment. Delion traveled the world singing, eventually meeting and marrying Gary Sheffield. And they now have three sons, 14, 11, and 10. Tampa is now her home. I'm excited about what's to come downtown Tampa. Yeah. Um, you have the beaches that are not far away. It's just a beautiful place to live. A friend of yours, John. She's even partnered with her mother to sell real estate. Mom may have come off just a little bit strong. I do what I do. And started a reality show on A&E's FYI Network. How many men in this room? Four. It's one. That's me. But music is still her passion. I have no debate if you say that all that I have. Music is my first passion, it's my first love, and it's something that I think I will never, ever, ever leave or, or move away from. Recently, she was talking to her son about her Grammy nomination, wondering if she was still the youngest nominee. And so he's like, well, Mommy, let's ask Siri. Let's ask Siri if uh, you're still the youngest person. And he's like, hey, Siri, Who's the youngest person ever nominated for a Grammy? And sure enough, Siri pulled up me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Oh, She's so neat. <laughs> I, and to see her just flourish and grow yeah. and continue to do amazing things, not yes. just herself, but with her family. She insists that she has just <sighs> led the most blessed life, and she Absolutely. really, really has. She plans this year, though, to really get back into her music and focus on it because she wants to have a new musical project out by the end of the year. Now, I do have another local Grammy story, story for you. It's going to be on Friday. There is a man in Tampa that is nominated for four Grammys this wow. year. So it's a very big deal. He's also a professor at USF, so I'm looking forward to sharing that story with you as well. So much talent right here in Tampa yep. Bay. Love it. <laughs> the Grammys air this Sunday at 730 right here on CBS.